So the uh, coating has now dried. It took around two hours here um, for it to dry and it has actually become, as I suggested, quite strong. Um, so the next stage really is just to start to apply the paint to the surface. Now I use this, it's a uh, Chinese paste, post, the paint, um, and it's a grey paint to start off with. And you'll see that once I apply it the first time, that it actually starts to look more like a sandstone finish uh, than anything else. And as you add more colours, then it starts to become more of a grey colour. So what we'll do is we'll come back to you once we start to apply the grey paint. So what I do with the acrylic paint is I tend to mix it with um, quite a bit of water um, because the thinner you make it, you know, the better it is. And what you can keep doing is you just keep painting until you get the colour that you actually prefer. And then it's just a matter of uh, just adding it to it. Now, don't be fearful of the colour. Um, it will change um, as it progresses. Um, it might look dark at first, it might look not dark at first, um, but gradually the paint itself will start to lighten the more that you actually spread the paint itself. Um, and again, it's just a matter of trial and error. And don't forget anyway, that you're gonna get lots of different types of weathering on your stone faces. So um, as, you, as you spread it, you're gonna get light bits, you're gonna get dark bits, but then that is what happens anyway uh, through the weathering process, uh, because obviously the elements will affect different areas in different ways. So start off with a general coat across the whole of the surface and then let that dry and then uh, take that on from there. So what we'll do is I'll progress this, I'll get it all finished and then I'll come back to you once I've completed that particular first coat. So one section has now been uh, had its first coat of paint on and it's starting to take the, uh, the shape and the colour that I was hoping to get. Uh, obviously what I need to do is finish uh, the other sections and uh, and see where we get to. So, there we go. So there we go, that is the first coat of the paint actually onto the uh, polystyrene. And as you can see, there are multiple light and dark points, which I find actually in some ways is quite good, because what it actually does is it actually is in a way a self-weathering uh, situation as it's picking out the dark and the light points of the whole structure. Um, I might do another coat, it depends on uh, on how it finishes off drying so what I'll probably do is I'll leave this for a couple more hours and, and see what happens in relation to the, uh, the way it dries and whether uh, it needs more coats or whether I actually do want it darker. I actually like this finish, it seems to be more of a sandstone finish which is again very much in line with the location of which my layout is based um, as uh, the stone was used for all the properties in and around the area and in fact for the Palace of Westminster so uh, we'll see how we go and uh, we'll come back to it shortly I'm just getting a bit closer so you can see even more detail in relations to uh, the stone engraving <laughs> 